search, <laughs> search for a woman like you. I often wondered if I would ever find her. The Bible told me what to look for. She is worth more than rubies. Her husband has full confidence in her and lacks nothing of value. She brings him good, not harm. She works with eager hands. She speaks with wisdom and faithful instruction. Many women do noble things, but you, Catherine, surpass them all. Charm is deceptive and beauty is fleeting. But a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. Let her works be praised at the city gate. Catherine, I am here at the city gate. Praise your works. In this lonely world, I found a wife of noble character. You are worth more than rubies. And I lack nothing of value with you. So I promise to affirm my love to you. I promise to be your shelter in life's storms. I promise to be faithful and true in sickness and health as long as we both shall live. God has brought us together. Let no man pull us apart. I love you. Chad, who would have thought taking a summer to help on the farm would reap so many blessings? <laughs> the day I came to the plant, finding my husband was the furthest thing from my mind. But the moment I first saw you, I could tell you were something special. Although our first interaction wasn't the smoothest, Ow. and thankful God gave us such a memorable first meeting. On my birthday two years ago, you gave me the greatest gift, your heart. Thanks to a bad cold and a good bowl of homemade chicken noodles, your walls came down. For the first time, you let me see just how tender-hearted and kind you are. Even though you were horribly sick, you still showed me little affections by checking in on me while I was cooking, giving me words of encouragement, and keeping me company while I cleaned. From that moment, I knew I wanted to spend the rest of my life with you. As I look to the future, I am so excited for what God has planned. With your childlike nature, I know we will make the ordinary tasks fun. With your tender heart, you will be an example to me on how to better love you and the many little ones to come. With your deep-rooted relationship with God, I know our marriage will be built on a firm foundation to weather any storm. I am the luckiest woman to have the honor and immense privilege of being your wife. As your wife, I vow to always cherish the little moments and celebrate the big. I promise to always nurture my relationship with God and to remain a light to you. I promise to always hold you in the highest regard and to come with you with honesty and vulnerability. Today I give myself to you, whole body and soul. Chad Edward Allen, I love you, I love you, I love you, and wish from this day forth to never be parted from you. Bethany Merkel and I'm one of the younger sisters of the bride. I wrote them a poem to celebrate their sweet love. Blessing. I had stopped searching for love and then you walked into my life, a sweet surprise with covered eyes. We could have met years before, but God knew his timing when he had you stroll on over to my car door.
in the Bible that tells us that we're so different. We're different in, in how we think, how we feel, how we communicate. And he told the man, didn't tell the woman, but he told the man, work on understanding your wife. Your chest became my comfort. Your heart became my home. Your open hands were made for mine to hold. God didn't say we would ever achieve that. Chad, you'll never achieve understanding Catherine. It's just an impossibility. But what he did say was, he did say, work on it. So a lifelong of marriage, working on understanding Catherine. And definitely somebody that's been married 49 years, it's definitely something that you will never, never accomplish. <laughs> But it's sure fun working. You are the one I longed for, the person I dare to call my own, the man I wish to be with through it all. To hear the deep rumble of your laugh, to see the bright flash of your smile, is like a tender embrace. Your love is warmth on even the coldest of days. I, Chad, take you, Catherine, to be my wife. I, Catherine, take you, Chad, to be my husband. In these things I promise you, I will be faithful to you and honest with you. I will respect, help, trust, and care for you. I will share my life with you. I will forgive you as we have been forgiven. And I will try with you to better understand ourselves. God's love and God's will for us. As long as we both shall live. We stand here now with locked eyes and bowed fingers, two souls promised to be one. I thank our merciful God for blessing us with this love. Now it is with great pleasure I have the honor and privilege of pronouncing you husband and wife. Chad, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Heavenly Father, I pray for Chad and Catherine that their marriage is strong, it's full of love, it's full of unselfishness and forgiveness, and that they become one. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we ask. Amen. When God's in something and he wants it to happen, it's going to happen. So no matter what happens, as you guys go through life, it's got to be about God. And when he's in it, you allow him to be in it, he'll bless your marriage. So let's uh, toast to Chad and Catherine that they keep the main thing, the main thing through their marriage. Katie has taught me to persevere in times of high stress and sadness. It is from watching her grow that I have learned what it is to be resilient. Katie also taught me that you're never too old to act silly. It is important to stay up too late, laugh, crying at movies and videos. It is important to act out a whole story with not only your hands, but also your entire body and wild eyes. It is important to be silly because it is to be carefree. This act of being carefree is when one shows their true self. And Katie is, at all times, unapologetically herself. I know that Katie and Chad are a good match because he too knows when to go along and when to stop and lead. I know that their future will be one with lots of joy and love because they both will give their all for the new family they will create together. blessing to him and us because this man means the world to me and uh, he has taught me how to be strong he has taught me how to be a man going through high school I don't know if I told you this or not don't cry okay <laughs> but you have and I've looked up to you ever since I was a little boy. Now that Catherine, you're right next to him, you know what kind of man he is because you're sitting right next to him. I just, 
I just wish you guys all the best to, where to come. You belong. No, it won't take long. Back to where you went wrong. And follow me home. stiff, bristled man and melt him into a pile of something that I did not recognize. But I have watched it make him a very happy, happy man. Perfect qualities for Catherine's future husband. Appreciative and giving. They are both honest and carefree. And when Katie becomes too crazy, Chad knows just how to ease and calm her or join right in on the fun. I could not imagine a better match for my sister. Katie, I love you with my whole heart. And I'm blessed to not only have you as a sister, but a close dear friend. I could not be happier to stand next to you today as you marry the love of your life. Thank you for all the lessons I have and will continue to learn from you. Chad, thank you for loving my sister so sweetly. Thank you for coming into my family and fitting in as if you were always meant to be a part of us. I wish you both a marriage filled with happiness, honesty, hard work, respect, resilience, love, and lots of laughter. Please raise your glasses and toasting me to this beautiful couple, to Mr. and Mrs. Allen. So that, was, that tells you the power of love when you don't think something's going to happen. God, when God's in it, he reaches around and says, meh, I got this. 